Okay, next video. This is a plumbing video. I mentioned earlier this year, I forget exactly when, maybe a few months ago, I was going to put up more content on the channel and I'm going to try to do more hands on. I actually bought a Hero GoPro 8, but it didn't work out for me because I couldn't see what I was looking at and I couldn't illustrate what I wanted to illustrate properly. It just didn't work out for the situation I'm in. It's a great camera system, I really like it, and too bad I couldn't use it. <laughs> I was hoping to use it, uh, but I'm using my iPhone 7S. I just bought it for like 240 a few couple of months ago, whatever. Pretty cheap, pretty good, works good, fine for my needs. Okay, um, tripods, couple, and I got a magnetic holder where I'm going to make a little plate. And I can tape that plate to the wall so I can stick the camera wherever I want. So, cool stuff. This video is about a plumbing leak. It's gonna gross out a few people, excuse me. Let me change this lighting over here a little bit. That'll do a little better. <laughs> uh, that's my computer screen. It's a 40 inch uh, TV monitor. Talk about that one later. I know I put up about a 30, 32 inch uh, TLC, TCL, whatever it was. Uh, Worked very good for my knees, and then one day decided not to work for me, and I went straight for this TV. And I also built a new computer desk. Sorry about the rambling. Either way, the basket is where the strainer's at in the sink. Our area location we work out, they have two of them, so it look a little bit odd to some people. You're also going to see some really gooey, nasty brown stuff. Yeah, that suggests to me that there was a very slow leak for at least five years or longer. When they did the original install, you're going to see they didn't. They left the part out. I'm going to illustrate that part they left out, and this is why this was leaking ever so slowly, for ever so long. It's most likely it's just water, minerals, food, oil, grease, and soap. Um, and that's why it just through time it started turning that color. The woman just noticed it recently, and it wasn't a major leak, so it's kind of hard to notice. Um, I couldn't actually make it leak when I was running it, but and I was trying to get the nut off, I couldn't get the nut off I, and she had the dishes in the sink full she had water in there and I didn't want to go crazy break anything so I had to be kind of gentle apologize I didn't illustrate me using the jungle tool but at least I gave you a general description you see me put everything back describe the part that's missing and you see me get the job done and the test so that should be important I think this is it for now Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope it helps people out in their home. They're trying to do something, figure out what to do. They'll also describe a special size nut that's on the bottom of that basket. If you put that tea washer on there and you have a regular size nut, it might not grab tight enough. It might actually slip and you won't be happy camper. So they usually come with the basket and they're hard to find. I'm not so sure I can find that Lowe's Home Depot. I might be able to find it online. I could definitely find it if I look for it. I just didn't go through all that trouble because this is just a general description. I did the best I could. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay. That's the nut I had to cut out with a Dremel tool. That's where it went, and it was fused on. As you can see, I didn't really ruin the threads very much. I did pretty good. <laughs> it's very easy to cut through the threads. Now you have to replace the entire basket. So, take everything out. Put it back together and end the video. Okay, there you can see how I actually cut out the nut. I use a Dremel tool. That's an M12. Had a problem with my first two. They died within a year, within warranty. That one's been a year and a half. So apparently they fixed the issue. Okay. I can get a really close view of what I did. And I did show you the threads. I did not beat them up too much there's something missing here that's why I stopped doing trying to finish the job and not do it halfway see this washer T washer it goes on top of that tailpipe right here and then you have actually a longer nut see it's longer the same size as that one but the ones that you buy in the store they're shorter and they can give you issues with not tightening enough or the second uh, way to do this would be to wrap if you don't have that washer a bunch of 
like mega Teflon tape instead of that really cheap stuff. If you use the cheap stuff, you're gonna have to wrap a lot. Mega tape, maybe four rounds from the top of the threads to the bottom of the T, and then put your nut on, you should be fine. That works for me in the past, no problem. But that is the correct washer you're supposed to use, and that is the correct nut. You're supposed to use the one I had with me is a cheapo. Um, so I'm gonna do this the right way. Let me pause the video, see if I can set up my mini tripod and get it done for you guys. Okay, a little bit tricky for me. Concrete slab. Ugh. I am almost 60, <laughs> seven more months, so knees started hurting me. We've been short staff here for at least three and a half years. And I'm a service manager, but I'm a hands-on super up north. So I do a lot of work. But you can get a picture of that. That's the tea washer in place, okay? I've heard it called tea hat down here in Virginia. And I had to take off this stuff. So hence my hands are pretty bad. I have to install it and then do my test. Okay, that went on pretty good. So I'm satisfied with that so far. Tighten the bottom one so I don't lose my connection over here. Should be getting it. Yeah, we're getting it now. All that gooey stuff is just from a really slow leak for ages because they never put that tea hat on. Or that tea washer. I call it tea washer from up north. Okay. Right, test the sink in a second. See if we got everything okay without no leaks. She's okay. She's tight now. Good now. I don't want to tighten it too much because it kind of felt like it was slipping a little bit. Like the threads were too boogered up from age or whatever. Okay, let's test. This is part of being a plumber, getting all boogered up like that. It did help me find the leak really fast though. <laughs> I knew what it was instantly. Okay, water's definitely draining and our test is good. If she didn't have dishes in the sink and all that, I could do a pressure test. Basically, you fill up the sink with a lot of water, then you let it drain all in one shot. Kind of works like a swimming pool. You at the top of the swimming pool, you go to the bottom of the swimming pool, you get more pressure on your head. That's called a pressure test. And if there's a leak there, that will find it. But I'm good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.